Hello everyone, welcome to ThemeGuild. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your WordPress website private. Make it so the people that are registered into your site are the only ones who can view your website, can interact with your website, and other people, the general public, guest users, they will not be able to view your website. How do you make it so you lock down your entire site? That is what I'm going to show you in this video. Just follow me step by step and I guess let's get started. But before we do so, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are with a fresh new WordPress installation. So let's go ahead, let's lock down your entire website. I've created this fresh new website called Lockdown, just, you know, aligning myself to the theme of the video. So let's go ahead, let's start with our plugin installation. Let's go within plugins, click on add new plugin. And here we're gonna search for user registration and membership. So this plugin right here, this plugin will not just help you lock down your website so that your website is not visible to outsiders and only to logged in users, but, this plugin is also a registration system which greatly enhances your default WordPress registration system. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's click on install now and now click on activate. So there you go, as soon as the plugin has been activated, you'll be redirected to their setup wizard. So let's simply click on get started. And once you've done so, let's click on normal registration for now. And this membership registration is something that's optimized for memberships. If you plan to sell memberships on your WordPress site, then you would go with a membership optimized registration here. But for us, normal registration will work just fine. So let's go ahead and let's click on next. And by the way, I have a separate video where I detail everything about the membership registration. So if you want to check out that video, links will be down in the description below or within the theme girls channel you can check it out so here it has done a few different things first of all it has given you a new registration form and it has enabled guest registration so people who are not logged into your site they will be able to register and it has also closed the default wordpress registration form which is slash wp dash login it has disabled or hidden that page because that page is really not all that secure and it also looks ugly so yeah that's why that page has been disabled and has created a few different pages on your wordpress site first one being the registration page second one being lost password login page and a my account page where users who are logged into your site will be able to view their login details or not just their login details my bad their account details so yeah let's go ahead let's click next all these settings these are just general settings for registration etc you can fill around with these settings later on as for now i'm just going to leave them as it is i'm going to click on next and this right here is their newsletter consent if you want to join their newsletter you can simply click on yes i would love to help and once you've done that, let's go ahead, let's view your registration page first. So this right here is our registration page and please don't mind the design, all right? This is a completely new site. I haven't done much except for creating a singular page. So that is why the form is looking a little bit wide. So yeah, don't mind that. But anyways, this right here is your new registration form. You have, you've got your username, your user email, user password and confirm password fields. And if you want to edit this, then you would simply go in the back end with an user registration membership, you'd go within all forms. But right now, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about content restriction or my bad, your whole site restriction. So to restrict your entire site now, go within extensions here and search for restriction. And you should see this add on right here called content restriction. Simply go ahead and enable it. So once this module has been enabled, you can go within settings and you'll see content restriction right here. So if you go over to it, you'll see this menu right here, which says enable whole site restriction. So currently, let me first of all, open the site for you on an incognito window so that you can see what our site is looking like currently, how our site behaves if a guest user checks into it. So here I'm interacting this site as a guest. I'm logged out. I can view this Hello World blog right here if I click on it. I can view other pages like my account, registration, restricted page, sample page. I can view all these pages, right? So now if I go ahead back in my backend, and if I enable whole site restriction, these right here are the settings for my whole site restriction. These are global restriction settings, which also affect your whole site restriction. So here I can choose to only give access to all logged in users. I can also choose specific roles. I can choose guest users. I can choose memberships. And just like I told you before, this plugin also lets you create memberships. So if you would like to create memberships, then yeah, different video for it links in the description. For now, I'm just going to leave it at all logged in users. And the restriction message is going to be this site is currently only available to logged in users or members. And here I'm going to click Control K and I'll give them a URL of my registration page. This right here it is. Copy this link, paste it right here, enter. So let me go ahead. Let let me save these settings 
Now, let me interact with the site again as a guest user. So here it is, my previous session where I was a guest. If I try to visit the site, you can see here I have a message which says, this site is currently only available to logged in users or members. To sign in, please register. So now if I click on register, you can see I cannot access any of these pages. And the reason for that is my entire site is currently logged down. So now if you want to give your users a portal to still be able to register into your site or to, you know, log in, then this is what you would do. So one thing you can do is you can render a login form right here. So if I go within user registrations, all forms menu, if I go here within login form, then you can see this right here is a short code for the login form, this form right here. So what I can do is back here within my settings, I can just paste in this short code and users who are already registered into my site, if they want to log in, guess what's going to happen now? If I refresh this page, you can see here is my login form. Again, it's a little bit wide because I've not fiddled around with the design whatsoever. So here, if the user is registered, they can simply log in and yeah, they'll be let into the site, right? So now suppose I want to give access to this registration page to my users. Then what I would do is I'll simply go here within my pages menu. I would find my registration page, click on edit, and I would simply scroll down here and what I would do is I would first of all override the global settings because currently within our global setting our entire site is locked down. So I would override the global settings here and I would allow access to guest users. And I'm going to click on save. So now again if I go back to the same session where I was a guest user, let me maximize this window. If I click on refresh here, you can see I have access to the registration page. But now suppose if I was going to some other areas of the site, like my home page or any other pages, then this message would be shown. And if I had to log in, I'll simply log in. If not, then I'll click on register. And here I would register basically. So let me fill this out real quick with some dummy information. And I'll show you what the experience is going to look like for your users and for yourself. So here I've clicked on submit and my user has successfully been registered. So if I go here back into my backend, I can go within my users menu just like I would if I was using the normal WordPress login page or the registration page. And yeah, here is our new user. Here's our test user right here. And here I can see the user is a subscriber. And suppose this user now tries to log in. Then what's going to happen is they'll simply come in here. They would type out their username and their password within any of these restricted pages right here. Click on remember me, I guess. And they would simply be able to log in. And once they are logged in, they'll be able to view everything here. My account page, this page, which was previously restricted. You can now view it as well. Sample page. Basically, they can access every other page within the website. Once they're logged in, that is the setting that we had. So there it is. This right here is the My Account page where they can view their profile details, you know, what information they filled out during their registration. They can change their password from in here and they can log out as well. And as for their profile details, these right here are the fields that they filled out during the registration. Speaking of which, if you wanted to change your registration experience, it's really simple. You'd go here with the user registration, all forms. And this right here is the default registration form. You can simply click on edit and you can drag and drop any one of these fields. And yeah, if you want to give your users a robust registration experience, this is what you would do. So there it is. This is how you would lock down your entire website and not just lock down, but keep it securely locked down because this plugin also gives you a good entry and exit point for your users by really enhancing the default WordPress registration system. So yeah, this plugin, highly recommended. You can do this all for free, by the way. And yeah, I've got more videos on this plugin. If you want to check it out, links down below. This is one of the most underrated plugins that I think you need to have if you're doing any sort of registrations on your website. So yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. If you want to learn more about content restriction as well, I've released two different videos for that. So yeah, be sure to check that out as well. And I guess that's about it. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. All the helpful links will be down in the description below. If you want to learn more about the user registration and membership plugin, those links will be down in the description below my own videos. So yeah, I guess that is about it. I'm Sid and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.